Hello Airsoft friends and welcome back for another video. Now this video is going to be Airsoft science related, which is quite exciting. Essentially, I went to Imperium Airsoft on the weekend and played Battle Sim there and it was very, very good. I was surprised, I was excited. They had a tank and like other armored cars uh, and, and, and yeah, it was a very, very good day. Um, I was testing the cheap VSR that I bought. This is here, well, it's the well, MBO3A. So, yeah, it's essentially just a cheap VSR clone. And I must admit, I was very, very happy with it. I was landing shots consistently, and uh, yeah, it, it needs a little bit of playing with for sure in terms of working out the perfect BB weight. But that's going to be for another video. In this airsoft science y type video, what I want to do is work out how far away people are when I shoot them. Now, like here's here's an example clip that I've got here. Um, so you can see this is the uh, the scope cam footage there, and then this is my head cam footage here. So if I play it, you'll see this. I've actually made this handy handy little thing here. So essentially, you put you could put in your rift, you put in how fast it was firing. So mine was firing at 333 fps, uh, and then you put in how many frames it is. So here, for example, I know that it's from 52, 1950 to 52, 20, 32. So that is 42 frames worth of time it took for my BB to travel from my sniper to him there. So if I bring up my little charty thing and put in 42 frames, then that brings the distance to 71 meters or 233 feet. Because this essentially goes some, uh, G11, which is the FPS, divided by 60, which gives you the per frame amount of how many feet it's travelled. And then times H11, which is how many frames it is, which then gives you the total distance in feet. And then for meters, that's just whatever this result is, divided by 3.281, because that's how many feet are in a meter. And that's how you get your meters distance. But the one thing that this doesn't take into account is the deceleration of the BB. Like when you fire, it doesn't travel constantly at 333 FPS it slows down. As soon as it leaves the end of the barrel, the BB is slowing down over that distance. So um, it's not actually going 71 meters. It's not traveling 233 feet. It's gonna be going less than that. How much less than that, I don't know. And that's something which I wanna try and work out today a little bit by using some science. So here is our setup ready to go. We have our camera on 100 frames a second filming straight against uh, our board here, which we know each of these gaps is 10 centimeters apart. We'll then shoot this way, our BB, and then what should happen is, as it travels past these lines, depending on how many frames of video it takes up, we'll be able to then do some smart maths and then work out how fast it's going. Um, so we'll do a test from essentially point blank. Uh, we'll also chrono um, the sniper and hopefully the maths of this should add up. That, that'll be like our control to make sure this is working and accurate. And then what we'll do is we'll measure distance away from the target. So we'll shoot here and then we'll go back 10 meters and pretty much as far as we can go. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some results. So yeah, that is our plan. We're gonna be running 0.45 gram BBs cause that's what I'm using in this sniper. That's also what I used at my game day at Imperium. So that's the way I'm gonna get the most accurate results. Ideally, I would like to repeat this as well with a variety of different weights of BBs, but that's gonna be for another day. But first of all, we've got a chrono. So four or five gram BBs. We'll call that 252. Let's just shoot it and we'll do these tests and then we'll uh, look at the results back upstairs. all of our shots done we did 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 meters hopefully that's worked and we can check out that back at the computer 
Um, but for now, yeah, let's uh, sort this out, get inside and do some maths. I am back after sciencing and I have my results. Although I expect they're not going to be super accurate for a couple of reasons, which I'll, I'll get into. But essentially, here is my graph of results. Now, because I wasn't able to get like a ton of data and I was only able to shoot uh, up to 30 meters away, what I've done is I've taken them as linear kind of like calculations. So I know that that's not going to be the case in realistic terms. Generally, I would imagine it would be more of a, a curve of, you know, kind of deceleration. And over time, that will kind of like, you know, kind of bend around and change and stuff. But I don't have the ability to to, 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 to kind of like do that. So this is the best that I can get under my own kind of steam at this point in time. Although I would love to revisit this with a bit more science behind me. So here on this side, you can see this is our distance in meters, starting at five meters and going all the way up to 85. Then on the bottom, we've got FPS. So this is your feet per second, how, how fast your BB is traveling. And then on this side, we've got time, which is in seconds. Um, and I've done it to thousands of seconds I've done it down to. But again, this is very rough. This is very, very, very rough. So the, the testing that I did, I did it at 5 meters, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So what I decided to do was do the 30 meter, the 5 meter, and then extrapolate those. So at 5 meters, the FPS here was 262. And this was taken both from my calculations against the backboard as well as my using the chronograph. So that sits down there. And then at 30 meters, which comes along here, uh, the FPS was at 177 from using the, um, the chart. Uh, so that's why that point is there. I then also did do in the middle as well at 15 meters. Uh, and that came in just rough, pretty much like exactly on there. So I, it was a little bit, a tiny bit off, which is why I think it's more of a curve shaped because this would have kind of like curved it a tiny bit, but I don't have enough data to make the rest of that curve. So because it was very close to this line, I decided to keep it all as a linear measurement. So extrapolating that out, this will kind of give us that at 55 meters, our BB will be roughly traveling uh, about 95 FPS, about 95 feet per second with that deceleration down there. This is purely only with a 0.45 gram BB though. If you use this with any other BB weight, it's gonna be different because they're gonna slow down differently to other BBs. So this graph is purely for 0.45 gram BBs. That makes it super clear. But that's not everything. I also took the data that I had from the uh, video bits that we took and I created this time chart. So at five meters, the time it took to get from the muzzle of the gun to the target was 0.15 seconds. Then at 30 meters as well, it took 0.575 seconds. Extrapolating that out, which gives me the time. So now the way that we can use this in content production, this shot here with this chap, it took roughly 0.75 of a second for the BB to get to him. So looking at the graph, that would mean that he would be roughly around 40 meters away. And looking on between like, you know, the, the GoPro footage and the scope cam footage, um, the scope cam says that people will be in, fo uh, in focus between 30 and 70 meters. You can see there that he is in focus. So yeah, like, I, I think it's, it's kind of accurate. So yeah. It's cool to see. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this science interesting. And if I've made mistakes or done it completely wrong or anything like that, please do let me know. I would love to uh, to give your feedback on that. And uh, yeah, let me know some pointers for future where I, I test this again and see how, how accurate it is. And as always, thanks again. Remember to sub, call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.